Rebecca is a very happy angel who loves making new friends and is happy to be painted yellow. But she didn't know there was another tender angel on the island painted yellow just like her. And that yellow angel was Molly. Molly is a very strong angel, but sometimes she can be very shy and feel uncomfortable when the bigger angels like to tease her, especially Gordon. One morning, Molly had just returned from her very long overhaul on the mainland and was happy to be back on Sodor. She was picking up passengers at Ellsbridge Station when Percy arrived the mail train. He was pleased to see Molly again. Hello Molly, welcome home. How was your very long overhaul? All cleared up, Percy. I've been well checked and maintained and the workmen took a long time to put me back together. And now, I feel like a new engine. Did I miss anything? You've missed a whole lot of things while you were away, Molly. More engines have arrived on the island, and they've probably never seen you before. And it looks like there's someone yellow coming this way. What? Hi, Percy. I'm here. Hello, Rebecca. Have you met Molly? She's another yellow tender engine, like you. Molly couldn't believe her eyes. There was another yellow engine right beside her, who was a lot bigger than she was. I thought I was the only yellow tender engine on Sodor. You're not the only one now. I'm a yellow tender engine too. I can't wait to be your best friend. No, just leave me alone. And with that, Molly huffed away in a thick cloud of steam. Rebecca and Percy were both surprised. What's gotten into her? Molly is a very shy engine, Rebecca. She doesn't like him when the bigger engines tease her. Well, I wasn't teasing her. I was hoping if I could be her best friend. You need to give Molly some time to herself before she can be friends with you. Oh, all right then. That evening, Molly returned to Napford Sheds. She was glad to be back on Sodor, but she wasn't happy she saw another yellow engine who wanted to be friends with her. Why would that big yellow engine want to be friends with me? Doesn't she know that I need some time to myself before I can decide who to be friends with? I really need some alone time. Very soon, Molly fell asleep just as the sun was setting. The next morning, Molly went to Napford Yards to collect her coaches for her morning train when she saw James. Molly, is that you? Yes, James. I'm back. Your overhaul must have taken a very long time to be done. It did take a long time, but I need to go now. I can't be late with my passenger train. When Molly pulled into her platform, she saw Rebecca again. This time, she was pulling the express. Rebecca was happy to see Molly again, but Molly wasn't happy to see her. Hello again, Molly. Where are you going today? The Scottish Castle. Why do you have the express instead of Gordon? Gordon has gone to the mainland to visit his brother, the Flying Scotsman, so the back controller has asked me to pull the express when he's away. <whistles> oh, there's my guard's whistle. I must hurry now. See you later. Oh dear, I really can't let Rebecca be friends with me now. I need to tell her that I need some time to myself before I could decide to be friends with her. As Molly was making her way to Callan Castle, she wouldn't stop thinking about Rebecca. And she didn't look where she was going. Molly, look out! Oh, sorry Thomas, I didn't see you there. What are you doing on my track? Never mind. I'll just move out of your way before you say anything else. Off you go then. After Molly went to Callan Castle, she went to Vickerstown Station, where everything was busy. There were lots of people on the platforms and engines going in and out of the station building. Then, Molly heard a voice beside her. Oh, hey 
Molly. <gasps> Rosie, is that you? Yes, it's me. Do you like my new color paint? I, I thought you were moving lilac. Why did you get repainted in a different color? Oh, it's quite a lot of story. I kind of like my new red color over my old pink color. Well, I prefer to be yellow, thank you. I'm a lot more happy to be in this color. Molly, did you come back from your overhaul? Yes, I did, Gordon. Did you miss me? Huh, miss you? More like I forgot you were brought here. Gordon, don't be rude to Molly. Well, she's blocking my way. Move over, Molly. Molly was so scared, she was out of the station, while Gordon glared at her. What did you do that for? It's not my fault Molly was in my way. I don't know what's gotten into her frightful behaviour. Molly was hiding in a siding in the biggest town goods yard, when she saw the yard manager. Take these empty trucks to the coaling plant. Empty trucks? Yes, sir. Molly felt insulted. She was told to take empty trucks to the coaling plant. As she was making her way, she didn't realize someone was heading right beside her. Hi, Molly. Oh, no, not again! Huh? What's wrong, Molly? Don't you want to be my best friend? You're just going to tease me. Why would you think I would want to tease you, Molly? What's gotten into you? I've been told to take these empty trucks to the coaling plant, and I'm worried everyone will make fun of me, just like how Emily did when I first came to the island. Oh, well, don't worry about what the others say. I think taking empty trucks to the coaling plant is a very important job. The Pack Controller always says a railway can't run without coal. Do you really think so? Yes, Molly, I do. Okay, I'll just go to the coaling plant and then head back to Napa Chet's. Wait, Molly! Don't you want to be best friends with me? But Molly didn't hear Rebecca as she was already out of sight. Once Molly delivered the trucks, she went back to Napford Sheds where she saw Thomas getting checked over. Hello, Molly. What's the matter? I'm sorry for what happened earlier today, Thomas. I didn't look where I was going. I shouldn't have thought going on your track was such a good idea. It's okay, Molly. It happens to everyone sometimes. The bigger engines like to tease you because you're shy and you get scared. But they haven't seen what you really are when you have the inside. Really? Yes, Molly. You're a very strong engine. You're probably as strong as any other engine around here. I think you and Rebecca will be best friends, considering you're the same color. You're right, Thomas. Maybe I should be friends with Rebecca. She doesn't seem that bad, unlike Gordon. That made Molly feel much better. The next morning, Molly was making her way along the main line. When she saw Rebecca pulling the trouble I love pulling trucks along. I love pulling trucks along. They're lots of fun. Rebecca, wait up! Hello, Molly. Want to help me deliver these trucks to Vickerstown? Pull back! Pull back! Pull back! Hey, what are you trucks doing? I'll just continue my own way then. Take care of the trucks, please. Ouch! That's enough pushing trucks. What's gotten into you lot? When Molly went over Gordon's Hill, she went down the other side as she had to stop at a nearby signal. The signalman was waiting for her. We must clear the line for Gordon to pass with the express. Don't worry. I won't be here for long. I need to think for a minute. As Molly was thinking, she heard a loud cry in the distance behind her. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Was that the trucks pushing Rebecca? I'm afraid so, Molly. Don't worry, I'll go after her. And with that, Molly hurried off to catch up with Rebecca and the runaway trucks. 
Don't worry, Rebecca. I'm going to change tracks and go in front of you to slow you down. Hurry, Molly. Molly's driver applied the brakes to slow down the runaway Rebecca and her trucks. Then the yellow engines were diverted into a cycle, and everything happened at once. Uh, are you all right? I think so, but I think I've come off the track. Go and get help. I'm afraid I can't, Molly. My front bonkies have been derailed. But don't worry, my driver has gone to call for search and rescue center. Rebecca was right. The driver did telephone the search and rescue center. And in no time, Rosie brought Rocky to let Molly back on the track and to rebel Rebecca's from bogeys. Thank you, Rocky. Yes, thanks, Rocky, for coming to our rescue. Glad to be useful, yellow ladies. Mo Emily, they are their way. Today, go with the train so that you two can go to the steam works for the repair. Good idea, Rosie. I love the sound of that. Can you at least shove me there? Of course. Soon, everything was arranged. Rosie took Rocky back to the search and rescue center. Emily and Mia took over the train. And Rebecca shunted Molly to the steam works for repairs. At the steamworks, Molly and Rebecca were getting checked over when Victor arrived. All right, you two. You're almost ready to go. Thanks, Victor. Do you like the steamworks, Molly? This is my first time, actually. This place is just like the workshops on the mainland, where I have my overhaul. You'll soon get used to coming here, Molly. This is also my first time seeing you, since I heard about you from Thomas. Just then, Emily arrived with the fat controller on board. Hello, you two. How are you getting on at the Steamworks? Oh, we're fine, Emily. Molly and Rebecca, I've heard about the runaway trucks you dealt with, and I just want to say that I'm very proud of both of you. Molly, you have managed to stop Rebecca from preventing a nasty accident. Thank you, sir. Rebecca, I have a very special job for you. What is it, sir? Tomorrow, I would like you to take the Sodo Seaside Special in the morning, where you'll be taking the whole population of Tidmouth to the seaside for the day. Yay, me! Molly was starting to feel sad. She wished to go to the seaside, but she never had the chance. I wish I was taking the Sodor Seaside Special. It would be a lovely change to go somewhere beautiful instead of working at the same boring old coaling plant. <laughs> then, an idea flew into Rebecca's funnel. Sir, can Molly be part of the train tomorrow? It would be nice for her to see the seaside for a change. Of course, Molly will be working with Rebecca tomorrow. You're both going to the seaside. Really? Well, thank you, sir. Looks like you two will become best friends after all. Emily was right. The next morning, Molly and Rebecca were at the town hall collecting their passengers to take to the seaside. Molly was in front and Rebecca was behind. Well, it looks like you two have become best friends. We sure have, Thomas. Isn't that right, Molly? You can say that again, Rebecca. That sounds like our guard's whistle. Time to go to the seaside. Have fun, you two. Molly and Rebecca were enjoying themselves as they went along the coast. When they arrived at Park's Cove, Passengers got out of the coaches, and they headed for the beach. I love the seaside! Me too, Rebecca. The seaside certainly is beautiful. 